Good evening, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for give me, giving me this opportunity to connect with you. I'm very happy to greet you and uh, wish you all the best for your seminar from Rome. So I am very grateful for the three coordinators of this seminar, Professor Rafael Luciani, uh, Professor Sister Maria Irenesi, and uh, Professor Carlos uh, Chikendat. So I will just share a, a few words on uh, this uh, topic of synodality you are exploring these days, uh, just to emphasize the importance of uh, being involved in the next synodal process that uh, will open very soon. And I am speaking to you uh, just today after the release of the preparatory document and the vademecum to help, help the first phase uh, of the synodal process in every diocese. So I really encourage you to read it, uh, to promote it, and to, uh, after this seminar, to be involved uh, according to your uh, ecclesial responsibility in this uh, synodal process. For a synodal church, communion, participation, mission, uh, this path, this journey together uh, is really a call uh, to change. And that's uh, the main fruits of the last two synods of bishops, the synod on young people and the synod on the Amazon. Uh, we have uh, truly understood that synodality is a way to journey with people to transmit the faith today and to meet the current, current uh, missionary challenges. You know that Pope Francis has stated it, uh, synodality is a call of God. It is precisely this path of synodality which God expects of the church of the third millennium. So we have truly the challenge to find the way uh, to uh, rethink uh, and uh, to leave the church in this synodal style uh, within a synodal key. And at the beginning of this uh, video, uh, I really want to share with you uh, uh, just an example. It's coming from a, a diocese in France, the Diocese of Créteil, they have organized uh, three or four years ago a diocesan synod, and one of the fruit was uh, the output of synodality uh, as a very important principle for the diocese. And following the synod, they have uh, drafted a new decrees to implement uh, the fruits of the diocesan synod uh, in all the dioceses, and in a new ordinance, they have emphasized the importance to implement synodality. And I quote them, the principle of synodality means that in the church, the people of God expresses its needs and wishes. Consequently, a leader never decides alone without having consulted the persons and instances with which he is associated. He makes important decisions after careful consideration with his collaborators and does not oppose their opinion without serious reason, especially if that opinion is unanimous. This principle applies to all the pastoral and missionary authorities of the Diocese of Créteil. So that's truly uh, an example. Uh, to uh, give us an idea uh, of how uh, synodality could be a modus vivendi and operandi, a style, uh, a, a call to leave the church in the breast of the Trinity, uh, faithfully from uh, this uh, synodal uh, dimension that is constitutive to the church, but uh, in each context, in each local church in this time with all the challenges we uh, have to face. And as uh, the International Commission on Theology reminds us, 
this modus vivendi at Operandi works through the community, listening to the world and celebrating the Eucharist, the brotherhood of communion and the co-responsibility and participation of the people of God in its life and mission on all levels and this distinguishing between various ministries and roles. So to express the nature of the church as people of God churning together and gathering in assembly, summoned by the Lord Jesus in power of the Holy Spirit to proclaim the gospel, we have the great challenge of putting synodality into practice. And this is not very easy because we are relearning synodality and we can say it's mainly a learning by doing a learning by experience. So I already hope that after this uh, seminar, to deepen uh, your views on uh, synodality, to have a theological vision on synodality, you will have an uh, opportunity to uh, implement synodality in all your uh, places where you are uh, in responsibility where you are involved in the church. And it, uh, synodality is about a vision and a practice, a culture and a spirituality. It's truly a spiritual process. Um, so it's about processes and reform of the structures, but there is a key role uh, for uh, each of us uh, because we can't be part uh, and help the church in this uh, synodal convention without taking uh, our part, whereas we are lay people, priests, uh, sisters, uh, deacons, bishops, uh, all baptized, we are called uh, to this conversion that is a personal conversion and a communal conversion. As Pope Francis reminds us in the letter to the people of God, it is impossible to think of a conversion of our activity as a church that does not include the active participation of all the members of God's people. So uh, on this path of conversion and renewal to become a synod, uh, because it's not enough to have a synod, we must be a synod, uh, we must uh, live and uh, revive synodality uh, by emphasizing uh, the importance of listening, of co-responsibility, and uh, especially synodality, uh, as Pope Francis says, and it's coming as a fruit of uh, the Council Vatican II, and synodality also means involvement of the laity as full members of the church. They too are called to express themselves, to give suggestions. And among the laity, I like uh, to emphasize the role uh, of young people because we have experienced that uh, through the Synod on Young People. They are really uh, drivers of synodality they, that their way to be in the church, they want to be protagonists, to be actors, and so uh, they are really uh, calling for synodality. And also uh, women, there is no synodal church without uh, women as the documents from uh, the Synod on Young People and the Synod of the Amazon uh, highlighted it. So it's a call to walk together as brothers and sisters in Christ. And I really hope that this seminar is uh, an interesting step uh, to be in this uh, journey as brothers and sisters, listening uh, to Christ, listening to the Holy Spirit uh, to uh, discern uh, how we can together help the church on this uh, synodal journey uh, led uh, by, uh, by Christ. So I wish you all the best for this seminar. Uh, and we are in communion on this synodal path of the church. Uh, thank you and uh, good work uh, today for your uh, seminar.